Hello everyone. It is a beautiful day here today at the BYU Family History Library and today we will be talking about PERSI or the Periodical Source Index. I've been hearing a lot about PERSI over the last year and wondered what it was and how it could help me in my research. So my first stop whenever I hear some about something new in family history is to go to the Family Search Research Wiki and they have this great article about Percy. Did you know that Percy is the largest subject index to genealogy and local history periodicals throughout the world? It's created by the Genealogy Center at the Allen County Public Library. And would you believe that there are over 2.25 million entries by surname or location and 22 basic subject headings. This is an absolutely gold mine for genealogy research. The Percy Project began in 1986 and has just grown from there. We can access Percy by using our LDS access and going to findmypast.com. So let's head over there. The first thing that we want to do when we get to family er, to get to find my past is to make sure that we are signed in. And now we're going to go to the drop down menu that has the search and right here it says newspapers and periodicals. And here on the left hand side are the words periodical source index. So when we click that it will search only Percy. Now it's important to remember that Percy is indexed by keywords. It's not in every name, every location index. So not every name will be listed. Let's start our research by using a surname. How about the last name Homer? And it just takes a second to search. Now, as we're searching through, this is really similar to Family Search, where you can see the little icons. This icon means that it's an index only, and this icon means that there is an index and an image of the article. So here we go. We're going to go into the index just to look a little bit. So you can, the article title is Jonathan Homer, Reverend, and it's a biography and it has the dates that he was living. The periodical that it is in is the Massachusetts, Massachusetts Historical Society Proceedings or the Massachusetts Historical Review. It's in Volume 2, Issue 1. It was published in April of 1844. So you can see one of the reasons that Find My Past is able to give us a digital image is because this particular article has gone into the public domain. And we're going to click on the view image. Now remember we're looking for an article about Reverend Homer. And they don't, when you bring up the digital images, it doesn't always bring you directly to the page that you're looking for. So you have to go through a little bit page by page and they don't have a way to jump from page to page. There it is. And so we have, here's our article about our ancestor Jonathan Homer and he was the son of Michael Homer. This gives you a great biography of that individual and some really great information and insight into his personality. Let's go back to the results and do a different search. Whenever I start a new search, I always want to make sure that I click the clear search button. Sticky, if you will. They, they tend to not clear, you know, so you have to always hit the clear search. Let's look at the filters down along the side. Alright, let's start by filtering by state. 
Let's start with Tennessee. So if we go to T and when it comes up we can click on there are 41,512 articles relating to Tennessee and we apply that filter. Now I'm really not willing to go through 41,000 so let's find something that's a little bit more just narrow our search down a little bit and we are going to go to the county of Warren 358 it's getting a little bit closer and oh here's a really great one it's about the Shiloh Methodist Cemetery and let's go ahead and go into that one now you can see it doesn't have an image available but here we can find out where that particular periodical is stored or available it is available from the Allen County Public Library and from the Family History Library but let's try one other thing before we plan our trip back east or up to Salt Lake let's highlight and search in news and when we right click on it it gives us the the option to search Google for that phrase and so if we search it it comes to welcome to the and search in Tennessee genealogical society and when we click into it all of but from 1960 clear until 2014 full copies are available some of them 2004 and on are available in the members only section but here we have full copies that are available for free online so let's look at our list again it is in volume 13 issue 4 of the October 1966 so if we come back to and searching and we find the issue 4 of 1966 we have a PDF download well here's a whole list of the Shiloh Methodist Church Cemetery in Warren County and if I went up a little bit there's the First Presbyterian Church in Fayetteville Lincoln County Tennessee so you can see it's a great resource and and this particular one is downloadable for free so we found some great information let's do another search we'll clear the search and let's start with the state of Illinois and we'll add another filter for the county and we're going to choose Effingham here we um, here's the beginnings of Effingham County in the periodical title is Crossroad Trails and once again that one does not have an image with it but well, let's look at what we can find so the title of the article is beginnings of Effingham County the place is Effingham Illinois and the periodical title is Crossroad Trails it's available from the Allen County Public Library and the New York Public Library but let's look if by chance the BYU Harold B Lee Library has that particular periodical and it was called the Cross Roads Trails and here it is so this one is available the 1980 version or volumes and let's see which one we were interested in and yes we were interested in the 1980 so it is available from the help desk at the periodical 
section of the BYU Family History, the Harold B. Lee Library, which we pass every time we come to the Family History Library at BYU. Now you can see right here it says that there's an online resource. So if I click on that, it will lead me to a sign-in page. And when I sign in, I'm at home today, so I don't have the access, and I'm not exactly sure what's available, what that online resource is. But I'm excited to find out. All right, let's go back to our results and try another search. We're going to clear the search again. And I know that the Northwest Arkansas Genealogical Society probably has a, a periodical that I may be interested in. And you can see here it is. It's called the Backtracker. And I am really interested to find out if the Backtracker has any articles about taxes in it. And we'll see if this gives us what we're looking for. Oh, see, we've got tax receipts and assessor's lists for 1839. And let's go ahead and look at this tax list for 1821. It doesn't have a digital image, but let's find out where we can find it from. So it's available from the Allen County Public Library and from the Family History Library. Huh. Well, let's try to see if we can access that particular periodical if by chance it's available through FamilySearch.org under their search in the books ca category. Now the name of the art, the periodical that we're looking for is the Back Tracker. So let's type in Back Tracker. This Back Tracker is the Puget Sound Genealogical Society of Washington. So we may not find what we're looking for, but if we look over here on the left hand side, we can find that there is a filter for the Northwest Arkansas Genealogical Society. And if we click on that one, here we go, we've got 1972's and 1982's. The particular article that we were looking for is in 1973, but let's see if we can't find one from 1972. Tax Accessor List of 1839. So let's click on that one. And it is in January of 1972. And so if we look for the January of 1972, and once again, I'm at home, so sometimes I don't have all the access. But I do know that that it comes up with a really nice downloadable PDF for you to look at. All right, let's go back to clearing the search. And now we're going to go to Illinois. And notice I just typed it in this time. And I actually don't like typing it in as much as I like using the filters along the sides. So I'm going to go ahead and add the filter. And I would like to know more about Jasper County, Illinois. Okay, one more second. And the keyword, let's put in tab. So here it has the property tax list in 1853 for A through N, but my ancestor's last name is Tolles, T-O-L-E-S, or a variation upon that. And so I would like to look at this article, the property tax list 1853 O through Z. And it only has the index again, but it will tell us where to find it. So it is, the name of the periodical is Our Heritage. It's in Volume 2, Issue 2 of February of 18, excuse me, 1983. It wasn't that long ago. 
and the only repository it's in is the Allen County Public Library. Now I've done some research and I know that I can't get this from anywhere besides the Allen County Public Library. So if we go down the page, how do I get copies of the full article? So if I've searched on Family Search and on Google and at the BYU and I still can't find the article and it's something that I really feel like would be helpful in my research, I can choose to order a copy from the Allen County Li Public Library from their genealogy center. This is the form that you print out and fill out and the Allen County Public Library Foundation charges seven dollars and fifty cents for each order form so I would wait and save up until I had six articles or at least two or three articles otherwise you would be paying seven fifty for each article we hope you take some time to really explore Percy and to find articles about your ancestors and things that will help in your research have an awesome day everyone